Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the latest episode of EIW Rampage. We are live! We are coming to you from where? Where are we coming to you from? You will see it in a moment. You will see it in a moment. You will see it in a moment. Where is it? Where is it? Spoke too soon. We, this is awesome. Exact New York, New York. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are live in the Madison Square Garden here. People here are hyped to see the show. We have Crusher taking on the newcomer Tommy Prime in the tables match. A race for the case qualifier match. Triple threat match. And we're going to hear from El Jefe. What could that be about? Also, Aaron Cassidy taking on Aaron Angels. The Battle of the Aarons. El Jefe versus the Goliath, renewing an old feud. Aaron Angel speaks. A tag team match, the Young Wolves versus Christopher Lawrence and Slade, an unlikely duo. A race for the case, qualifier, fatal four-way steel cage match. Donny Atomic speaks. And in the main event, the World Championship Unification Match. Devious Douglas versus Manny Diaz. And now we have Slade coming out here. For what reason? Ladies and gentlemen, I've always wanted to do this, but welcome to Rampage! Woo! Yeah, the original version. Yeah. 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 Uh, one thing before uh, we get down to business, let me just get one thing straight. Fuck DP, fuck IWF, and fuck Overkill. EIW all the way. EIW has been my home. I was got my first start in this business. EIW made me who I am, and nothing will ever change the fact that I am Team EIW all the way. Yeah. Fuck DB. Say it with me. Fuck, fuck DB. A sentence so nice, you just gotta, gotta say, say it, it twice. twice. Now that that's out of the way, let's just get one thing straight. In no way did I join Lawrence because me and him have become buddy buddies. No, 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 no. I meant every word that I said at the start of Rampage last week. And I still feel exactly the same way. The only reason I came out and aligned myself with uh, Christopher Lawrence was because of the fact what the damn Wolves of Justice did to my little protege, Max Snyder. Unfortunately, he could not be here. He will be out of action for quite some time. So it's going to be a little wait until we see him again. But nonetheless, I have made him a promise that I am going to personally make sure that the Wolves of Justice pay for what, I did, what they did to him. And boy, do I intend to deliver on that promise. So stay tuned, folks. Woo. Harsh words from Slade. Strong message for the Wolves of Justice. I wonder how that's going to turn out. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the very first matchup of the show. Crusher going on a second tables match in two weeks. And this time she's taking on a newcomer who just joined the EIW, Tommy Prime. And uh, as Tommy Prime says it, that's when he signed to Rampage, you're welcome. So, uh... Yeah, Crusher was in a tables match last week on uh, Rampage, and uh, he w was facing Austin James, the uh, Hall of Famer, three-time world champion, the record maker, and uh, Crusher came up uh, victorious on this one. Can he go 2 for 0 oh on a uh, tables match here? I might begin to think that a uh, tables match are uh, Crusher's uh, specialty. Now that Crusher's in the ring. Time to check out this newcomer, Tommy Prime. What is that guy all about? Who is Tommy Prime? What is Tommy Prime? Why is Tommy Prime? And here's the answer. It's uh, it's kind of a hipster version of uh, Dolph Ziggler, I think. Or Heath Slater. <laughs> no, I think Heath Slater is more of a fitting choice here. But nonetheless, Tommy Prime has arrived to the building, folks. 
And I just heard him shout, you're welcome to the crowd. But, uh, yeah, I uh, don't know much about this guy. All I know, he's uh, he's really in love with himself. That's uh, a lot of what I know. But uh, let's uh, just uh, all come together and check out this match and see what uh, this, with this character, I would say, can do in the ring. Self-loving, self-absorbed, loving character. <sighs> All right. Dummy Prime, folks. Let's check out what he can do. But uh, first match is against Crusher, a giant of a man. So uh, let's see how he fares against Crusher here. Ah! <laughs> not a good start for him. It's not a good start. Not a good start. I'd say, I have to say that. But, oh, oh, Crusher just shoves him out of the way. Ah, just pushing him aside. Crusher is not backing off Prime. Oh, Prime gets a kick in, gets a slap in. Oh, European uppercut. Prime fighting back. Mm. But it was short-lived. It was short-lived. Crusher, oh, oh now he's, Crusher is just raking the face of Tommy Prime. Oh, an elbow shot from Crusher. And, whoop. Prime. Oh, Prime on the offensive now. He is able to get the big man down. It took a double knee to the back of Crusher to take him down. And, ooh. Prime targeting the legs of Crusher, which is always a good thing to do when you're facing a gigantic of a man like Crusher. Always go for the legs. Make, make it difficult for them to stand. Take them down to your level. And Prime... Oh, a knee to the head. Oh, again, another knee to the head of Crusher. Prime, a third knee to the head to the Crusher. That's uh, going to give him a headache in the morning. Oh, now the elbow of Crusher. Prime is targeting all limbs, but Crusher with a shoulder block taking Prime down. Oh, ow. Oh, Crusher just uh, giving it to uh, Tommy Prime right now. Oh, ow. Prime dodges and kicks the stomach of Crusher. Oh, oh. that was a drop kick. It uh, didn't look like it fully connected, but uh, he was able to get enough to take him down. Prime. Prime. What does he have? Ow! Oh, the Prime Turner. Now it looks like uh, Tommy Prime is uh, going to get that table. Crusher is back on his feet. It's just maybe not a good thing for Prime. Oh, but that doesn't look like it's going to stop him. Oh, maybe that. Oh, a headbutt from the Crusher. Oh, Crusher has the table. He's setting it up right now. Prime back to his feet. Oh. Wow, Crusher was distracted. Prime took the advantage. Prime has Crusher leaned up against the corner. Oh, Crusher turns the table. Uh, Crusher hoists him up on the top turnbuckle. Oh, just throws him off. Prime on the outside. Crusher now on the outside as well. Oh, a nasty kick to the back. Oh, an elbow shot to the face. A knee. A kick. Another kick. And Prime is down. Oh, Tommy Prime with a kick. Oh, and just shoves head first into the steel post. Crusher's got to be, uh, has got to have a concussion at this point. Prime looks like he ha what does he have in mind? Oops, taking the table up. Ow! Into the head of Crusher. Leaning up the table against the corner. Ah, I, I uh, have a feeling that Crush... Now, Tommy Prime wants to uh, put an end to this match right now. Whips Crusher into that corner. Uh-oh. Oh! 
Nope, Crusher reverses. Tommy Prime leaned against the table. Nope, oh, Prime reverses. Crusher leaned against the table. Ow, a slap to the chest. A slap to the chest. Ow, a Faymaster from Prime to Crusher. Crusher's down. Prime picks him up. Whips him into the, against that table. Prime. Oh, you can't lift him up. What the hell? Throw oh, through the table. Prime with a victory. A power bomb. He hoisted that big up man up with a power bomb and slammed him through the table in the corner. Tommy Prime, the winner of this match. Congratulations, Tommy Prime. Heck of a first victory. Hell of a statement to make in your very first match here in EIW. Congratulations. I can't wait to see what else you got. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, up next is uh, we're going to hear from Manny Diaz before the main event. So let's check that out. I made it a rampage. Now time to take back the other world heavyweight championship and me is still here tonight as I go one-on-one -on -one with the devious one now let me tell you something mr. devious you might be the world heavyweight champion on rampage but after tonight no more mr. devious You'll be a punk sorry little bitch he's gonna be crying after he lost his world heavyweight title to the hitman, the world heavyweight champion, Manny fucking Diaz. Woo! Bold statement from the uh, other world heavyweight champion, Manny Diaz. Uh, okay, apparently now we're in Stuttgart, Germany. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, up next is a race for the case qualifier match, which is uh, Vernon Quinn versus Jason Ryder, a newcomer in EIW, yet another one, and versus Blaze. The winner of this match will earn a spot in the race for the case qualifier match. So far, we know that uh, Christopher Lawrence is in that on representing rampage and so far we know on the uh well what used to be madness now overkill billy ray dog and dtm have earned a spot in the race for the case qualifier so that's three out of eight spots filled so far whoever wins this match will be the fourth member added to this match Creepy looking fella, Vernon Quinn. I'm trying to remind myself of the match card. Match card! Where is the, uh. Sorry. There, okay. Because uh, all the uh, stipulations and such was added on that thing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Triple threat match. By the way, first fall wins, so uh, this is not an elimination. First fall gets the victory. Mm. Yeah. yeah, all right, I got it, I got it, I got it straightened out. All right, yeah, Tom uh, Vernon Quinn is in the ring. Gotta lean that up against my screen. Next is the uh, other newcomer here in the Rampage brand on EIW. Here comes Jason Ryder. Arrived to the building. He uh, looks uh, intimidating, very intimidating. I'm going to go for he's British, judging by the mask. But other than that, that's uh, definitely an intim... We have plenty of uh, scary looking dudes here in EIW, let me tell you that. But uh, I like this. I, I like the vibe I'm getting from Jason Ryder here. I, uh, I think uh, this will be an interesting character 
uh, in, in, added to the Rampage roster. I want to know what more this guy can do. I, yeah, just like I said about during Tommy Prime's entrance, I don't know much about this guy. So uh, we're just going to have to learn what we can about him during his time here. Now comes Blaze! The HWA Hall of Famer, HWA owner, former World Heavyweight Champion on HWA, that is. He has accomplished other championships. He has a long list of accomplishments he has done in HWA, but uh, the only accomplishments he has gotten in uh, EIW is he beats Slade in a match that was quicker than a hiccup, and then he represented Rampage in the victory in the Brand Warfare, and he got a victory last week on Rampage against Lawrence and Van Diver. And now comes his uh, second triple threat match in two weeks. If Blaze wins and gets a spot at the race for the case, that uh, he might be one of the quickest rising stars in EIW. There's already uh, already feud going on with uh, Blaze and Manny Diaz. So uh, the other world champion, uh, depending on how that uh, match goes in the main event tonight, it might escalate further. But nonetheless, triple threat match, first fall wins. Let's see how this goes. Bef and the bell has started. Vernon Quinton kicks this match off by knocking Blaze out the ring. Just get out of here, Blaze. Get out of here. Jason Ryder taking the advantage. Just has uh, Quinn knocked out in the corner. Uh, just choking him out with the knee. Blaze back into the ring. Uh, Blaze has Ryder. Oh, a back suplex. Yeah. Blaze picks up Ryder again. It's going for... Oh! That's a painful maneuver. I, I imagine. I've never had that done on me. Uh, Vernon Quinn... <laughs> Vernon Quinn not having much luck right now. He's trying to be involved in the match. Oh, there we go. Okay, he got something. He, got a, a, he was able to get Blaze there. Uh, Quinn stomping away on Ryder. Both men getting up. Quinn, oh, now you just make yourself a target. Oh, Quinn. Oh, all right. Taking Blaze down. Wow, Vernon Quinn is kind of on a roll right now. Ooh, elbow to the face of Ryder. Quinn, on the ropes. Quinn, whoa, what was that? Impressive, impressive. Vernon Quinn. Oh, ow! A kick to the abdomen of Vernon Quinn there. But Jason Ryder standing tall. Oh, but Blaze back into the ring, knocking Jason Ryder down like he's a bowling pin. Oh, Quinn. Ooh. Blaze. Go Blaze with a t just a clothesline on Vernon Quinn. Uh oh, Ryder trying to take out down Blaze. Ah, oh, knee to the back of Blaze by Jason Ryder. Oh, and out of the ring, Vernon Quinn goes. Jason Ryder going after Blaze now. Oh, Blaze turning it around. Oh, one. Targeting the back of Ryder. And now, ah, ooh, blue thunder bomb. Blaze. Oh, suplex turned into power bomb on Vernon Quinn. Ryder back to his feet. Oh, but Blaze was ready for it. Blaze was ready for it. Has Ryder on the top turnbuckle. Ooh, blow to the face. What what does he have in mind? He's going for a super suplex. Superplex off the top turnbuckle. 
Vernon Quinn. Oh. With Blaze. Ow. Ow. Targeting the leg of Blaze. Blaze rolling to the outside. Vernon Quinn and Jason Ryder with a belly to belly to Vernon Quinn. Goes for the cover. Is this the going to be a victory? No. That was just a one count. All three of these men want that spot in the race for the case qualifier match. Uh oh. Ow! Double underhooked uh, DDT. Goes for the cover. Oh, but Blaze breaks up the cup. Pinfall. Now Blaze for the. I don't know if that was smart by Blaze, but nonetheless. A drop kick by Blaze to Ryder. Blaze, oh, with another spinning power bomb. Oh, ow, whoa, Blaze, whoa! I didn't even know you could go that fast. Oh, Blaze going for the cover. One, two, no. Jason Ryder kicked out. Vernon Quinn on the outside, pulling himself together. Uh-oh, Blaze looks like he has something in mind for Jason Ryder. Oh, kick to the abdomen. Suplex powerbomb. Oh, Vernon Quinn back to his feet, back in the ring. Blaze goes for the cover. I don't think he noticed it. Ah, yeah, now he does. Now he knows Vernon Quinn is back in the ring. And Blaze. Ow, a back suplex. Another back suplex. And a German suplex. And a leg drop. And now, ooh, ow, elbow. Ryder, ow, ow, Ryder, ow. Just got a nasty landing on the top rope. Ryder on the outside. Blaze and Vernon Quinn on the inside of the ring. Blaze standing tall, goes for the cover. One, two, but no, Vernon Quinn kicks out. Uh, Blaze, attention, get your attention. Oh, yeah, see? Jason Ryder taking Blaze down, dropping a knee on his face. Uh oh, Ryder. Oh, that unprettier on Blaze goes for the cover. Quinn breaks up the pinfall. And, whoop, Quinn, oh, dropping Vernon Quinn down, goes for the cover, blazes down, one, two, but no, Jason Ryder kicks out, oh, a stomp to the elbow, and Blaze rolling to the outside now, Quinn goes for the cover. One, two, but no. Jason Ryder kicks out. Quinn. Ooh. Blaze still knocked out on the outside. Quinn. Going up the top turnbuckle. Jason Ryder is down. Quinn. Oh, bad landing. Knees up. Horrible for the ribcage of Vernon Quinn. Oh, Vernon Quinn. Ow. Blaze just uh, breaking up that maneuver and taking both of them down. Blaze with Jason Ryder. Suplex powerbomb. And Blaze. Now Vernon Quinn and Blaze going out. Oh, Vernon Quinn has Blaze. Oh my god, that was nasty. That was nasty. Quinn goes for the cover on Blaze. One, two, but Blaze kicked out of that. And, ooh. Jason, Quinn knocked out on the outside. Blaze, scoop slam on Jason Ryder, doing that thing. And now, oh, clothesline. 
Blaze with another clothesline. And on the rope, Blaze with a kick to the face of, of Jason Ryder. Goes for the cover. Quinn on the outside. Two. Three. Oh, just a little bit too late, Quinn. The winner of this match. And moving on to the race for the case qualifying match. No, no, that was the qualifying match. To the race for the case ladder match. Blaze, fourth man added to it. We have four men in the ladder match now out of eight. Halfway there, folks. Halfway there. We will have one more qualifying match later tonight. Congratulations to Blaze on this impressive victory. Up next, uh, we're going to hear from El Jefe for the first time ever. El Jefe speaks. I've been curious to know what El Jefe sounds like, so uh, now we're going to figure that out together. And there comes El Jefe to the ring with that smoking. I, I still today I want to know how where is there a tiny smoke machine inside of that thing? What kind of voodoo hoopoo jupu is in that thing? What sorcery is this? But nonetheless, El Jefe looks like he has something on his mind. He has a match with Goliath later tonight. Maybe it's a message for Goliath. Could be. So, uh... Let's see what that's all about. Alright. <laughs> El Jefe is definitely a interesting character, let me tell you. Alright, there we go. I bet he has like a Mexican voice, like, Hey, senor, something like that. I bet, that's my bet. Calling it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> senor Goliath. You come and you think you can destroy me? I've cut that tree down once before, and I'll do it again. I want you in the ring, senor. And this time, I will be walking away the winner. Woo! Short and simple. El Jefe saying he's going to take... What the... What the light just went out. Wait, what's going on here? Whoa! That's Vernon Quinn! He's back! We just saw him a minute ago! Vernon Quinn standing... Ah, oh, now he realized it! He realizes it! He realizes it! El Jefe, yeah, El Jefe getting out of the ring. He, he doesn't want to fight now. He's fighting Goliath later. That's kind of smart. I got to say, that's smart of El Jefe. To get a, he, no need to get into a brawl with Quinn. He's got to save up all the energy for Goliath later tonight. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Cassidy versus Aaron Angels. The Battle of the Aarons. So I think uh, to save myself the uh, hassle of calling Aaron Cassidy Aaron Angels, I'm just going to say Cassidy and Angels for the uh, when I'm calling this matchup, just to make this easier for myself. But nonetheless, Aaron Angels is here, making his way to the ring. He is the cousin of Christopher Lawrence and Slade, who later tonight will be teaming up. So, uh, curious to know what uh, Aaron Angel's uh, thought is on the whole uh, Lawrence and Slade versus Wolves of Justice. Does he have an opinion on this? Does he uh, support them? Is he, uh, maybe, I think, I think like most wrestlers in the back, they're just uh, focusing on themselves, what they're doing. So I'm sure Aaron Angel's right now is just... Focusing on racking up those victories. And, uh... To earn him a future champ title matches. Hmm. 
That signature pose by Angels. And now comes Cassidy. Cassidy is a... Uh, Hasn't been in EIW that long, but uh, he has been, uh, I think he has, I think he's 2-1, to one, if memory serves correctly. There's always a possibility I'm wrong. But I believe Cassidy has two victories and one loss. If I'm remembering this correctly, which could be wrong. Nonetheless. Now we have both errands in the ring. Well, the other one is on the outside of the ring right now, but... Curious to know how this is going to go. Curiouser and curiouser. Alright, that's that. Referee, ring the bell. And, oh, oh, that didn't go the way Cassidy wanted it. But ain't Angels starting off with the offense here. Cassidy tried to run into Angels there, but he just got n knocked down on his ass. Oh, but uh, uh, Cassidy with an elbow. Oh, and a high drop kick. Angels still standing. What does this guy eat for breakfast? Can't even get Ca uh, Angels down, but C Angels with a roll-up. Oh, now Cassidy with a roll-up. Angels with a roll-up. Two, no, well. None of them even reached two. All those roll-ups, not even one, two. Oh, Cassidy blocked that kick from Angels. Cassidy standing tall. Oh, slapping the chest of Angels. Oh. Cassidy. Ah, oh, just holding tight on the face of uh, Angels. Cassidy trying to make Angels tap. But Aaron Angels getting himself out of that maneuver. And now. Ooh. Oh, that was like a corkscrew European uppercut, but again, did not even take Angels down. Oh, and Cassidy with an elbow. It's been a lot of back and forth action so far between the two of them. Angels being thrown to the outside. Guess uh, the whole action is being moved to the outside of the ring right now. Oh, a big slap. Oh, Angels, Angels, wow, just series of kicks and punches. <laughs> Cassidy again got knocked down on his ass and Angels just taunting him for it. Angel, oh, Cassidy back to his feet. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Wow, cool. Impressive maneuver by Angels on Cassidy. Oh, and a whole body drop dropped on the ribcage of Cassidy. Oh, a stomp to the ribcage now. Angels picks up Cassidy. Hoists him up. Power bomb. Goes for the cover. One, two, but no, that's a kick out. That's a kick out. And Angels picks up Cassidy. Oh, no. Cassidy blocks that kick. Cassidy with the Boston Crab. Double leg Boston Crab on Angels. Is Angels tapping out? No. Nice leg power by Angels there. Oh, a jack to the face of Cassidy. Oh, Angels with a backdrop. No, backbreaker. Sorry, I meant to say that. But Cassidy again blocked that kick, going for the double leg Boston Crap. 
Angels tapping out. And nice leg power. Again, gets himself out of that maneuver. Uh-oh. Angel signaling that he wants to break Cassidy. Angels has Cassidy. Ah, dropping him on that barricade. That's got to be bad for your back. Oh, oh, stomp, 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 stomp. Ow. Painful. Oh, Angels with a kick. Oh, knocking Cassidy over that barricade. But Angels doesn't even care. He just goes back into the ring. He has no interest in taking this to the crowd. Cassidy back into the ring. Oh, Cassidy with a blow to the face of Angels. Ain't Cassidy has Angels up. 4-1 winged Angel goes for the cover. 1, 2, but no. Angel's kicked out of that one. And, oh, Angel's with an uppercut. Cassidy. Oh, and. For the third time in this matchup, a Boston leg crab on Angels. But Angels again leg powers himself out of it. What the? What, what is going on here? Wait. Blackwood Turner? What? What is going on here? What mind game is this? But, all right, it looked like it stopped. Angel's getting his attention back into the match. Oh, Cassidy taking this opportunity to his advantage. Goes for one winged at Angel again. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. Cassidy with a victory over Angels. With a big help from Blackwood Turner. We didn't even see Blackwood Turner. We just saw Mind Game there. It's just the light lights were weird and the... Uh, we heard his music. Interesting. So you see how that's going to develop. But Cassidy, the winner of this match. And uh, now moving on to the next matchup of the evening. It's this El Jefe versus Vernon Quinn. I believe Vernon Quinn is going to be in the corner of... No, I'm sorry. Whoa, I said... I meant to say El Jefe versus Goliath, sorry. And I believe Vernon Quinn is going to be in the corner of Goliath in this one. Just realized my mistake. It's Vernon Quinn again. It's, uh, but uh, Vernon Quinn is not in this matchup. I know, we, I'm not surprised that he's going to be in this corner, but uh... Does he have to summon Goliath? I'm gonna assume that's what he has to do. Can he never summon Goliath in the back? Does he always have to stand at the corner of that uh, ring? Is that like the only place he can summon Goliath? Maybe that's put my... Uh, grocery store theory I had last week to rest. guess uh, maybe that didn't happen. Alright, you have your corner. It's right there. Summon that giant. There we go. Yeah. Do it. Now we're gonna hear the hee hee ha 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 song. Weird uh, symbols popping up. I believe Goliath is making his way. I believe he's on his way. We don't see him yet. Oh, that weird ball of energy in, on the stage. 
Oh, there he is. There's Goliath. Last time we saw that man, he ended the winning streak of Connor Omega. On the uh, goodbye show on Evolution in a last man standing match. Friendly little thing. Oh, lightning, lightning. Goliath, very intimidating looking dude. Looks like he's just walking through a ramp. He looks like he's coming straight from hell or something. I don't know, judging all that smoke and Fire and that ball of energy we saw earlier. I wonder exactly where Goliath is when he's not, you know. I don't know, is there a land of giants like him? Goliath is here. Ah. Ooh, I think he leveled up or something. I don't know. Good luck to uh, El Hefe. That's all I'm gonna say. And then there's El Hefe. And his opponent. Take it in, folks. Take th take that entrance in. I don't know if we're gonna see it again, cause uh, I, I I don't know. Maybe the next time we see El Jefe, he'll be rolling down the ring on a wheelchair. I j I just don't know. I don't know how this is gonna go. I mean, El Jefe got a victory over Goliath once in HWA, but uh. Ever since, Goliath has made sure El Jefe just uh, receives punishment for that every time. And he's just, every time after that, El Jefe gets flattened like a pancake. Alright. Everyone's here. Let's do this. Referee, thank you very much. And takedown! Okay, rest in peace, El Jefe. It's been nice knowing you, buddy. At least we got to know what you sound like. Yeah, you can do this, senor. And El Jefe. Nope, Goliath. Ah, oh, picks up El Jefe. Ah, oh, just, ah, oh, just breaking, trying to pull his body apart. But, oh, El Jefe. All right, using the elbow to the head of Goliath. That was smart. I gotta say, that was smart. Oh! One high drop kick taking Goliath down. All right, maybe El Jefe has a chance. Maybe he has a chance. Maybe he can do it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, maybe again. Maybe again. All right, Goliath, man. He certainly gathered some strength to take down the giant. But El Jefe is not going to... Stayed down that easy. And now... Oh! Head into the jaw of Goliath. El Jefe. Elbows and punches and kicks. Just not giving up. El Jefe. Whoop, whips him into the rope. Down he goes. A uh, hurricanrana! Nice by Al Jefe. Sends Goliath flying, which is not something we see that often. And, ow! Twisting that arm.
El Jefe standing tall. Oh, a kick to the back of Goliath. El Jefe is giving Goliath a fight for sure. I think I see Vernon Quinn getting a little worried. Oh, suplex. Oh, oh we're going for triple suplex here. It's the three amigos. Do we call this the three voodoo amigo? Nah. Oh, whoa. Goliath is already up with the help of distraction from Quinn. Goliath. Oh. Goes for the cover. What? No. El Jefe kicking out at one. Goliath punching away on El Jefe here. Oh, just dragging the corpse of El Jefe at this moment. Goliath has him up again for a torture rack. But again, like last time, El Jefe using the elbow to the face of Goliath to get himself out. Oh, El Jefe with a DDT onto Goliath. El Jefe on the top turnbuckle. Frog Splash connected successfully. El Jefe is going to win this too. No. Goliath kicks out. Ah, uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's kind of rooting for the underdog on this one. El Jefe trying to get a second victory over Goliath. I mean, it's been years since the first victory happened. And now it just uh, has a grip on the arms. But Goliath gets out of that. Goliath. Hoists up. Oh, and a soup. Oh, suplex turned into an arm. Uh, oh, arm bar. Wow, that really slipped my mind. And Goliath has the arms of El Jefe. Oh, just probably broke that arm. El Jefe is going to need a cast after this. Oh, a stomp to the ribcage. A stomp to the leg. A stomp to the other leg, and a stomp to the face, and another stomp to the face. Goliath picks up El Jefe. Oh, knee, kick, elbow, kick, a knee to the face. Goliath goes for the cover on El Jefe. One, two, three. Arr. Goliath gets a victory. Who can stop that giant of a man? Goliath with another victory over El Jefe. I think uh, Goliath and El Jefe have squared off all total of... Um, I think this is the fourth time. So I guess Goliath is 3-1 to one over El Jefe in total. Not, you know... Most of them have been in HWA, but nonetheless. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, where uh, I believe Aaron Angel has requested this time. I believe he uh, has something he wants to get off his chest. Might have something to do with uh, the interference from... Uh, Blackwood Turner we saw during his match earlier so now uh, it's not very often we hear Aaron Angel speak he's a man of few words I mean we've heard him speak before but uh, he's not much of a talker he's more of a guy who backs it up in the ring type of guy so uh Sorry, got a message here. Oh wow, that's something else. I was reading a wrong message. I'm going to keep this very short and sweet. Blackwood Turner, you, me, 
race for the case. What do you say? A challenge issued out. Uh oh, what the? Did that accept? Oh boy, your boys is home away from home. I think uh, we saw Blackwood Turner accept the challenge of angels, but yeah, let's uh, let that play out. I just wanted to get that out there. I believe those are sleazy outlaws in Tijuana, Mexico. You know, I was in such a bad mood after losing the chick magnet to the Canadian pretty boy. I had to plan a special trip to get right. I can't wait for you to see this outlaw. It's going to be great. Damn, man, what is this? It just smells like shit and donkeys. Why the hell did you bring me here? Man, it's a surprise. Just follow me. I know you had a small trip to Tijuana planned, but... Damn, man, I think the last trip was going to beat this one by a mile. Outlaw, hey, where are you going? You're gonna miss it, hey! I can't believe you brought me all the way to TJ to go to a fucking donkey show. <laughs> I mean, damn, man. I've been smelling Hershey casserole and Betty Sue for months. And you had to really bring me down here? My bad, man. I just thought you'd enjoy it. And we needed to relax, you know. Man, can you believe they got us in a four-way match coming up on Rampage? I mean, it's kind of like a tag team match. Because once it comes down to me and you, I mean, I don't know. I just assume you can just lay down and let me pin you, man. <laughs> what do you think? Man, I'll do it. But if you punch me first, that shit's over. We're going to have to go till the end. Interesting little journey that we just saw from uh, Sleazy Outlaws in Tijuana, Mexico. Nonetheless, let's move on to our next tag team action, which which contains the Young Wolves, SSD and Ragnar, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with an interesting duo of Slade and Christopher Lawrence. I think we all, I think all of us know the history of Lawrence and Slade is... It's pretty ugly. It's uh, one of the darkest, most brutal feuds between the two of them that I have ever known. But uh, that's I didn't think these two would ever, ever team up in their lifetime. But uh, they are, so it is what it is. So uh, let's just uh, take in this moment. and Because uh, I don't know if, how often we're going to see this. That's all I mean. Because Slate did say at the start of the show, he has no interest in being friends with Lawrence. The only reason he's joining up forces with him is because to take down the Wolves of Justice after what they did to Max Snyder. Alright, Young Wolfson in the ring. Now, just get the other team. And now, making his way to the ring is the man. It's Christopher Lawrence. He's here, folks. He's not in EIW to be loved. He's not here to be Mr. Friendly. He is here to beat people up because he is good at it. He, it's what he does best. He is not here to spare your feelings. No, no, no. If you're in his way, he will destroy you. Old man Lawrence on his way to the ring right now.
This man has done some very dark, sinister things. Like to, most of it to Slade. For those that don't know the history between Lawrence and Slade, it started with Lawrence driving up to Slade's house while he was not at home, stalking his son, pissed on his dead wife's grave, and brought up Slade's drunk, abusive father. This man has just destroyed Slade mentally. And now they are joining forces. You didn't think this would ever happen. That feud between Lawrence and Slade has gone over to three or four companies. Everyone, almost everyone, knows of the feud between Slade and Lawrence. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? <laughs> and now they're teaming up. That's what makes it interesting. But here is Slade, the CSWA World Heavyweight Champion. Making his entrance to the ring. saw Slade at the beginning of the show declaring his loyalty for EIW and saying fuck DB and then just explaining the reason for his uh, alliance with Lawrence that he's only joining up with him to take down the Wolves of Justice. Because of Wolves of Justice, Max Snyder will be out of action for a while. Alright, looks like SSD is going to start this off for Wolves of Justice. And Lawrence is going to start this off for Slade and Lawrence. Lawrence kicking things off. Well, elbowing things off. But SSD back to his feet. But Lawrence, oh, with a knee to the back of SSD. Painful one at that. And oh, SSD whips Lawrence in the corner, elbow to the face, whips him down. SSD, oh, uh, from the middle rope, middle turnbuckle, I meant to say, European uppercut to the back of Lawrence. But now SSD is just stomping and cranking away at Lawrence. And oh. Elbow, jumping elbow from SSD. And, oh, another one. SSD with third jumping elbow onto the chest of Lawrence. Fourth one. How long is he going to keep that up? Five. I think Ragnar's just chuckling in that corner. Six. Six jumping elbows onto the... You know, you'd think Lawrence could move. Seven. Lawrence just laying there and taking it all. Eight. Is he going for ten? Two more. Make it ten. Even things out. Nine. One more. One more. Just to make this even 10. There we go. 10. All right. You're done now. You're done now. We don't need to make this into 20. 11. I think uh, the crowd is getting a 12. The crowd's getting kind of bored with this. 13. Move, Lawrence. 14. Oh my gosh. 15. All right. Is this is this good now? This has been the whole match right there. Oh my god. 16. 17. Oh, finally. 
It only took 17 jumping elbows for Lawrence to get up. And now, Lawrence. Oh, double team on Lawrence. Ragnar, now the legal man. Oh, painful. Lawrence trying to crawl the slate there, but Ragnar prevent, preventing that. And, oh, ow. Ragnar. Ow. That was a bad landing for Lawrence. And, oh, now it's a mandible claw up the throat of Lawrence. Oh, but Lawrence, oh, a knee to the ribcage of Ragnar. Oh, Lawrence with an elbow to Ragnar. Oh, second one. Ah, and a closed line taking Ragnar down. And oh, closed line, closed line. And a kick to the face of Ragnar. Wow. Oh. Lawrence targeting the arm. Lawrence picks up Ragnar. Whips him into the corner. Lawrence. Tag mate. Slade the legal man. Lawrence whips Ragnar into the rope. And a elbow drop onto the back of Ragnar. Slade has Ragnar. Hoists him up and a power bomb. Goes for the cover. One. But no, it's a kick out. Late has that leg lock. That uh, is that sharpshooter? No, Ragnar pushes him away. Slate with that DDT. Ragnar, oh, makes the tag. SSD, the legal man. Oh, elbow into the face of Slate. Closed line. Oh, elbow. SSD sizing up Slate. Oh, a knee strike to the face of Slate. Lawrence. One, two, but Slate kicked out of that. SSD sizing up Slate again. Another... A knee strike to the face of Slade. Goes for a cover again. One, two, three. Young Wolves with the victory over Slade and Lawrence. I think we saw Lawrence in the ring earlier. Was he yelling at Slade? I don't, I don't know. I might be wrong. But uh, it looks like uh, the team of Slade and Lawrence are going to need a little work. But nonetheless, Young Wolves with the victory. Up next is a race for the case qualifier match. This Come is a fatal four-way steel cage Mr. match. A. No escaping the cage. First person to get the pinfall or victory this wins the match. And, uh, you know, Sleazy Outlaw, Sleazy Dream and the Outlaw, Jason Michaels, are gonna have to, uh, go against each other at some point. They're good friends, the two of them, and, uh, but only one of them can get a spot in that ladder match, so, uh, how this will go is, uh, unknown. And now, the outlaw making his way to the ring. A good friend of uh, Sleazy's. Probably not going to be easy, but I'm sure they're going to team up a little bit at some point in this. But uh, at some point, it's going to come down to Sleazy versus 
Outlaw because it's only one spot in that race for the case ladder match. So uh, they're gonna at some point they have to turn on each other for the to get. So uh, one of them gets that spot if it comes to it. Next participant to make his way to the ring is. Ben Diver! Woo! I felt the heat on that one. Ben Diver has been uh, with EIW for a while now, but he has not earned any uh, championship here in EIW yet. But he's definitely uh, working on that. So, uh, a spot in that ladder match will definitely be an accomplishment he can check off here in EIW, because uh, with a list of things to do in EIW, he has, uh, hasn't has checked a box as of yet. He's gotten some victories, but no opportunities until now. This will be an opportunity for him at a spot in the ladder match. Up next is Austin James. This man has done almost everything in EIW. He's a Hall of Famer, first ever, and three times World Heavyweight Champion, two times Tag Team Champion. The only thing he has not done in EIW is win a mid-card title. So in Rampage Case, the King of the Cage. That is one championship he has not held before. So, other than that, yeah, he has not been in a, he has not won a ladder match either. He has not been in a race for the case ladder match. So, I guess that's two things he has not done in EIW. But Austin James, nonetheless. All right, looks like we have all four participants in the ring, or some of them outside, but they're going to have to get in the ring because uh, we need to lower the cage. All right. How about we get this underway now? Cage is lowered. Everyone's in the ring. First person to get the victory, to get the pinfall, submission, wins. No escaping the cage. This ain't WWE. Oh, Sleazy with a spear on Van Diver. Outlaw taking on Austin James in that corner. Oh, Van... Oh, nice Van... Moving... Ugh, sorry. Nice maneuver by Van Diver is what I meant to say. Van Diver, what strength to lift the big man up like Sleazy. Oh, dropped him down. And Sleazy, whoop, whoop. Ali, whoop. Oh. And Sleazy with a headbutt to Van Diver. Oh, Austin James taking down the Outlaw. Oh, bitch slap. Outlaw is just uh, going at it on Austin James. It's a lot of th actions to keep track of in the ring. I'm trying my best to... Uh, so far, sleazy outlaws are uh, have been the most dominating in this one, because both sleazy and outlaw are just uh, giving it all to Austin James and Van Diver. Oh, Austin James probably has his arm torn out of his socket. And ooh, sleazy with a nasty kick to the back of Van Diver. And, oh, Sleazy has Van Diver in the corner. We know where that's coming. We kn 
just got the <coughs> just got the <coughs> stop ah. I just got the image of it in my head and that was enough oh sleazy went for the cover both outlaw and Austin James broke it up oh gosh ah. and Van Diver has Outlaw up. Looks like they switched stance partners. Oh, Van Diver drops Outlaw down. Again, Van Diver just picking up the lifeless, corp lifeless corpse of Outlaw. Drops him down. That has to be painful. Sleazy. Uh, no, no. Please, not again. Oh, come on, man. <coughs> oh, God, I cannot do this anymore. Ugh. Sleazy goes for the cover again, but Van Diver breaks it up. And now Sleazy has Van Diver. No, no, he has Austin James. Sorry. Well, that's going to go for a submission there, but Austin... No, Van Diver broke it up before it could even start. Oh! Austin James just getting his ribcage crushed by all that weight of Sleazy. Van Diver sizing up Outlaw, but Outlaw ready with an elbow to the face of Van Diver. Oh, Van Diver did the same. Van Diver going for the pinfall. One, two, but Outlaw kicks out. Austin James, closed line, closed line, kick to the face of Outlaw. Uh, what's going on with Van Diver? Is he, uh, is he all right? Does he need... Oh, Sleazy checking on him, I think. Van oh, Van Diver has Sleazy in a submission lock. Austin J, you didn't break it up! But, oh, that's alright. Sleazy got himself out. And, oh! Austin James sizing up Outlaw. Austin James! Oh! Going for the cover. Van Diver, too busy. One! Oh, but he was able to break it up. Match still going on. Oh, one. What the? Austin James. Oh, Sleazy with a boot to the outlaw. Now, there it goes. There goes that. Uh. Now it's every, like this is every man for themselves. They both knew that going in. Outlaw going for the cover on Sleazy. One, two. But no. Austin James breaks it up. And Outlaw, oh, face first into the cage. Oh, Sleazy with the clothesline. And, oh, oh, knee into the face of Outlaw, Sleazy with the submission lock on Van Diver, but Austin James broke that. Van Diver and Sleazy going at it. Austin James sizing up Outlaw. Oh! Austin James goes for the cover, but no. Referee didn't even have to start pinning because uh, Sleazy broke it up. Sleazy. Oh, has Austin. Oh, Hurricanrana. One, two, but uh, Van Diver breaks up the pinfall. And Sleazy has Austin in it. Oh, no. Not a... Can. I just, uh, uh, uh. Is it over? Is it over? Uh, <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. <coughs> uh. Close line from Van Diver. And Austin James with a DDT to Sleazy. Ooh. 
Outlaw. Oh, going after Van Diver. Austin James with a submission on Sleazy. Sleazy ro rolling out of it. Sleazy. Ow. Face first. Outlaw sizing up. Van Diver. Oh, that Van Diver dodges that. Ooh, a clothesline from Van Diver to the Outlaw. Austin James with a DDT on Sleazy Dream. And Van Diver. Oh, a back suplex to Sleazy. Van Diver. Sizing up Sleazy Dream. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what... Oh, Austin J... Nah. Ben Diver picks up the pinfall before it even started. Sleazy stomping away on Outlaw. Outlaw fighting back. Oh, clap on his head. Van Diver going for the cover on Austin James, but Outlaw breaks that up. Van Diver. Van Diver and Outlaw. Van Diver rolls him up. Oh, and a kick to the head of the Outlaw. Oh, Outlaw taking Van Diver down. No, I can't. Okay, hang on. Just uh, give me a moment, all right? I, I'm i not peeking, not yet. It's, it's got to be over now, right? All right, it's over, all right. Sleazy going for the cover on Austin James, but Outlaw, wow, taking Van Diver down and breaking up the pinfall. Sleazy with an interesting uh, modified stunner. Oh, an arm bar. Sleazy with Outlaw in that arm bar. But, ooh. Outlaw fighting out of it himself. Oh, and a boot to the face of Outlaw by Sleazy. Van Diver taking Austin James down. Sleazy has Outlaw. Drops him onto his back. Oh! Nice! That was like a springboard diamond cutter by Van Diver to Sleazy Dream. And... Oh, Austin James going for the cover on Van Diver, but the Outlaw breaks that up. Outlaw with a kick to the head of Austin James. Oh! Running power... Power slam. Van Diver picks up Austin James and drops him from a great height. Outlaw and Sleazy going at it again. Oh, oh head first onto the cage. For Austin James. And. Ooh. Outlaw. Pins. No. Van Diver. Not even giving him a second of it. Oh. DDT by Outlaw to Van Diver. We have a lot of bleeding guys in the ring right now. Van Diver is bleeding. I believe Austin James is bleeding. Outlaw is bleeding. I think everyone is... Yeah, so is... Everyone is bleeding on... Has blood pouring down on their face. And... Ooh. A jab from the Outlaw. A jab. Van Diver has James in a submission lock, but Outlaw... Break that up. A pitch slap. Outlaw has Van Diver in the corner. Outlaw. 
Sets him up. Sets up Van Diver in that corner. Ah, uh, just choking him out right now. Oh, Austin James with a drop kick to the back of Sleazy. Outlaw. Oh, has Van Diver sized up a DDT. Goes for the cover, but no, Austin James breaks that up too. Austin James sizing up Outlaw. Austin James, no, oh, Sleazy with a submission on Van Diver. Austin James breaks that up. Ooh, targeting the arm of Sleazy. Austin James standing tall. Austin James applying a lock on Sleazy, but Outlaw breaks that up. A roll up. Outlaw with that double underhook DDT. Outlaw with a submission lock on Austin James. Van Diver with a lock on Sleazy, but both submission locks broken up. Outlaw. Oh, face first. Uh, Van Outlaw breaks up the submission hold. Van Diver had on Sleazy. Oh, Outlaw with the DDT. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. Outlaw pins Austin James. Jason Michaels earned himself a spot in the race for the case ladder match. Five spots filled. Only one spot unfilled left for Rampage. And two for... Well, now known as Overkill, used to be Madness. Mr. Amazing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, up Chico next, we're going to hear from Donny Atomic. We are, uh... It's almost time for that main event, but I believe uh, Donny Atomic, he needs to have something to get off his chest. He's getting booed here. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone shut up, the pretty man has something to say. I'm the pretty man Donny Atomic and I just heard that at the next pay-per-view I'm gonna face Slash from the Guns N' Roses for my King of the Cape Championship. Well, welcome to the jungle of Miss of the Pretty Man, Mr. Slash. If, if it's really you from the Guns N' Roses, because I'll be pretty pissed if it's not. But if it's not you, let's just look at what you accomplished here in EIW, shall we? You won a federal for a way to become the number one contender. Good. But you have done nothing else than that since you came here to EIW. Since me, I was the greatest world champion that this company as to offer, I was the first guy to hold two belts at the same time. And you really think that you can beat me in a one-on-one -on -one match? Everyone just shut up, I'm talking right now. So, uh, just what I said, I don't think Slash deserve to face the pretty man for the King of the Cage Championship, but... You know, I will shoot. I will fight him if it's necessary and I will just kick his ass just like I did to this piece of crap of sleazy dream so until then Mr. Slash go make your show with your stupid ass fucking group of guns and roses and don't ever came face to face with me ever again and do, do never come in my ring too because if you come in my ring when I'm there I'm whooping your fucking ass. 
No one, no one. I just need to leave this shitty place. It smells like trash. See ya. Ooh, harsh words from Donny Atomic to Slash. <coughs> Basically, comparing resumes with uh, accomplishments. Saying Slash has done absolutely nothing in EIW to earn this match. In the meantime, Donny has done almost everything. Oh, here's Slash. I think Slash did not like what he heard Donny Atomic say. Uh, we can need security, more referees, because this is going to turn ugly. And we got a brawl underway on that stage. Exchanging blows. Security and referees bringing it. Separating these two. Oh, this is just turning nasty. This is nasty. These two men just do not like each other. But ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event. So, first person to make his way to the ring. Evolution, coming from the Evolution roster. Manny. Diaz, the world heavyweight champion. In this, in case you're not sure what's going on here, folks, we are unifying the two world champions. Since Evolution has closed their doors, Manny Diaz has been uh, relocated to Rampage. And since uh, we got two world champions on Rampage right now, we're going to have ourselves a unification match, unifying the two titles into one. But uh, just to get it straight out there, the championship that's around Manny's waist right now is what's going to be retired after this match. So whoever wins walks away with the championship that uh, Devious Douglas currently holds. Who is going to walk away the undisputed EIW World Heavyweight Champion? Now that the madness has turned into IWF overkill, robbing us of the IW title there. So uh, we're after this matchup, we're only gonna have one EIW World Championship. That's the only thing that's left now. Let it also be known, the winner of this match will have to be the face of EIW to lead us into that battle against IWF. Now that IWF has robbed us of madness. All right, Manny's here. Devious lights are out, which only means Devious is making his way to the ring right now. Devious Douglas, a member of the Wolves of Justice. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that uh, Wolves of Justice are depending on Devious Douglas to win this match. Because I believe that's that championship is one of the most important thing for the Wolves of Justice. So it's big question becomes who is going to walk away the undisputed EIW World Heavyweight Champion at the end of this? Is Devious Douglas going to continue his reign on devastation? Or will Manny Diaz take over as the face of EIW, as the face of Rampage? And dominate from there on. 
it Manny has been very vocal that if he wins this match, he wants Blaze. So I believe that if Manny wins, that there's a possibility of that happening. But this is what this is about. Those two world championships, uh, the Evolution belt is being currently taken to the back right now where it's going to be put on a shelf. Oh, a leg drop. Manny Diaz with a nasty kick to the back. And... Uh-oh. Oh! oh. A clap to the head of... Oh! Manny taking Devious Douglas out of the ring. Manny... Picks him up. Drop... Oh! A kick to the back. No, to the stomach. Sorry. But Manny with a clothesline Devious Douglas... Brawl taking just in front of that commentary table. I'm the guy in the blue suit. <laughs> oh, Manny! Taking down Devious Douglas. Action moved back into the ring. Oh, oh, just dropping a fist onto the face of Devious Douglas. Manny. Oh, elbow. Another elbow. Oh, whoa! Devious Douglas with that kick. A uh, kip up, but Manny with a clothesline ready to go oh and now a spear Manny is just fighting for his life right now I would say one two Jeez, Manny's just fighting like his life depends on it not letting up on Devious Douglas Manny uh oh I believe Manny is tuning up that super kick and super kick connected goes for the cover we, do we have a world champion two no devious darkless kicks out of that one and many oh devious with a leg sweep taking many down nasty kick to the back of many devious Douglas Back on the offensive. But Manny. Oh. He does not give Devious uh, an opportunity to make it last long. Manny with that dropping knee. Onto the face of Devious Douglas. Manny. Goes up the top turnbuckle. Oh and a splash. Goes for the cover. One. Two. But that's a kick out. Devious Douglas kicks out of that one. Oh, man, he's just flipping off the crowd. Again. Again. All right, you don't like them. You don't like them. We get it. Oh, God. We get the point. Oh, Manny taking Devious Douglas down again. Devious rolling to the outside of the ring. Manny going up the top turnbuckle. Uh-oh, you may want to stay down. Oh, like a bullet shot out of a gun. Manny with uh, taking Devious Douglas down on the outside. Manny throws him back into the ring. Man, it's been, Manny's been uh, dominating this one. It's mostly been Manny. I mean, Devious Douglas got something in there. Oh, and a super kick. Goes for the cover. Is that it? Two. But no. Devious Douglas kicks out again. Oh, there we go. Devious Douglas with another leg sweep. And Devious has many. A suplex. That was a bad landing on Manny's neck, I think. What the? Devious, he just stood there. Oh, there we go. Devious blocks that. Devious Douglas has Manny spinning on prettier. And now he's sizing him up. Ah, total destruction. Destruction one, two, but no Manny kicking out of that. 
Madney's not staying down that easy. Devious thinking to himself, what do I have to do? Manny turns the table. Oh, but Devious Douglas. Closed line after closed line. Oh, that's it. Oh, and a super kick to the head of Manny. And. Oh, a leg drop on Manny's arm. A ripcord knee strike to the face of Manny. Ow! Oh, just dropping an oh, just beating on that knee of Manny. Things are lot not looking good for oh now they are Manny using the legs to push Stevius away, and now Manny with another spear. Going for the cover. One, two, no. Devious kicks out of that. Oh, just flipping off the crowd again. Oh, Devious. Oh, has many. Oh. Hoists him up. Oh. <clears throat> what a maneuver there. But Manny, whoa, Manny turning the table. Manny has no interest in staying down. Manny tuning up the band. Is he putting an end to this? Super kick goes for the cover. Do we have an undisputed champion? One, two, three. The match is over. Ladies and gentlemen, the face of EIW, the undisputed world champion, Manny fucking Diaz. Congratulations to Manny Diaz. Once again, on the top of the EIW brand. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.